Bisco fam, can I get a year? What is good, everybody? New subscribers, welcome to the channel, Finesse Gang. Thank you guys for being here, as always. I'm the Festival Finesser, and this is my channel, a channel that involves around music festivals and live music going experiences with a focus and concentration on dubstep and rhythm. <laughs> If you are not following me at a festival for the day, you are following me at a show in New York City for the night. And if you're not following me at a show or festival, you are sitting with me here at this desk, getting life hacks, trick tips, festival reviews, festival survival guides, life hacks, any words of advice that I can give to you guys to make sure you have the best festival going experience possible. And today we're going to be doing a lineup review, and there's a festival that I've been to twice. Once in 2016, and once last year for festival season. What up, Finesse Gang? Festival Finesse here, starting out the Camp Bisco vlogs. There is a vlog entirely, days one, two, and three, and, you know, setting up campsite and the arrival, the road trip, getting there. You guys can watch those videos on the channel right here, right now. Actually, not right now, after the video. Stay here and watch the video first. Right now, we're going to be reviewing the lineup and just giving some thoughts and insights to, you know, artists and what I think and how I feel and, you know, just any other advice that I can give to you guys about Camp Bisco going forward that comes to my head as we're going. So Camp Bisco 2019, happening July 18th, 19th, and 20th on Montage Mountain in Scranton, PA. That's the first point you guys should note about Camp Bisco is it is on a mountain. Montage Mountain, you are going to be having to lug all your gear and your camping stuff up the mountain. This is everything I'm bringing to Camp Bisco. This is it. So you're not, not literally walking up a mountain, but there's going to be a little like trolley tractor thing that takes you up kind of like a hayride, and then you pick a spot to get off and set up camp. Camp Bisco is kind of uh, organized chaos is the best way to put it, because you just kind of get off this shuttle, and it's just like, all right, set up camp wherever you want, make yourself fit, and, you know, do your thing. So just be prepared for lots of walking up and down hill, and one of the biggest words of advice I can give to anybody going to Camp Bisco is bring up your gear in two trips. Bring up the essentials the first night, get your tent, your tarps, your canopy set up, and then go down the next day for, you know, the cool and chairs and like shit like that you know we are getting off the shuttle back to the car to get the rest of our shit we're back at the car guys second trip back to the car we got all our stuff leaving a few things behind because they're unnecessary right now so that's the best way of advice i can give to you guys right now make two trips when getting your stuff you won't have to wait in as long of a line on the second day because it'll be morning and people are already there because they waited in line the whole entire night and it'll just be faster and just less strenuous on you and your homies so let's get into the lineup now. Six sets of the Disco Biscuits. And I am that person that goes to Camp Bisco and does not see one Disco Biscuit set. I didn't go to Camp Bisco for the biscuits. You know, I went to Camp Bisco for the bass. And there is not that much bass on the lineup this year. I mean, there's a lot of bass. It's a lot of experimental bass. A lot of like funky, trippy, acid bass, you know? Not a lot of heavy dubstep rhythm that I enjoy. But that's one of the things I love about Camp Bisco is it's one of those festivals where you're not just going all day like Lost Lands. You know, Camp Bisco, you get a little of a break. And you see a little act here. You see one act here, one act there. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. You can take a break, take a nap, get some food. It's a very relaxed, very mellow-paced festival. And that's what I love about it. And it's only two hours away from my house. So that's also lit. Following now, we have Bass Nectar, which is obviously huge, huge headliner. And you guys know how I feel about Bass Nectar. I don't hate him. I just can't get behind the hype, you know? I you know, respect him, and I have enjoyed a bunch of his sets, but I'm just not a diehard Bass Nectar fan, you know? I'm Team Excision. You guys already know. Camp Bisco is a mix of, like, bass and, like, jam bands and, like, funk. I don't even know, but a lot of these artists on here are playing, like, instruments and, like, funky tunes and just jammy kind of stuff. So it's cool during the day, but, again, not something I want to be around for all day. It's something I don't really care for all that much, personally. Then, following Odessa, we have Tipper. And Tipper is, like, you know, again, somebody that I don't love because it's just not my kind of style. But when I saw Tipper last year, I was just like, oh, my God. And, like, Tip's giving when he did that whole thing in Brooklyn, I think it was, I get the hype. You know, his visuals are crazy. And he doesn't play that much. So when Tipper comes around, it's, like, a big deal. So I highly recommend seeing Tipper because that dude is, like, a legend. Like, he's an OG. Then we have STS9 who kind of reminds me of, like, Odessa. Like, I kind of see them, like, hand-in-hand hand for some reason. I don't know why. I could be totally off. But they definitely are not, like, dubstepy or even, like, electronic, for that matter. I'm not even sure. 
Uh, Umphreys McGee, same kind of deal. I feel like they're like the jam band and just, you know, they, they sound like a jam band. You know, Umphreys McGee. Then we get into some bass, some some stuff for the people. Ganja White Knight, Wobble Gang, Liquid Snails. And there's been a lot of, like, flack for this. There's been a lot of talk and a lot of hate about Liquid Snails. And Liquid Strangers should have his own set. And Snails is going to ruin it. And, like, personally, I don't really care all that much. I am a pretty big Snails fan. Not the biggest Liquid Stranger fan, just because, again, I don't, I'm not really into the experimental bass. You know, it is kind of taking over slowly. And I'm slowly kind of, like... Um, becoming accustomed to it, but it's not something I love because you guys know I'm full of energy and I'm just, I love to balance and love to be bippity boppity and just do my thing. And it's hard to do that to someone like Space Jesus, but I saw Space Jesus on the channel. He's also on the lineup, Space Jesus and Friends, and ha that vlog is one of my favorite vlogs. That was a fun ass set, and just being able to like sit up in the chairs and watch, while also being able to like run down into general mission, that was mad fun. And Space Jesus is gonna be super sick at Camp Bisco. So those are the headliners. That's like the first half of the lineup. Then we break it down to alphabetical order, starting out with 1788L, and that is gonna be someone you definitely want to check out, especially if you're watching this channel, because he's gonna be one of the more bassy acts on the lineup. He is basically like a heavier res. That's the basically like the that's the only way I can really describe it because he definitely has that res sound. But uh, it's just heavier. It's more a beat, and I think it just hits harder than Rez. Rez is more like mellowed out. I could see 1788L being more kind of like Mashi, you know, more, a little more heavy. Following now we have Anomali. Aqu Aqueous, two people I don't know. Then we get Bleep Bloop, and again, getting into that experimental, like, trippy bass. Um, Ikali, I saw Ikali at Izu, and it was relatively heavier than I expected, so that might be somebody you want to check out if you're looking for some bass. Ghost Note, don't know anything about Hero Bust. Don't gotta say anything about Hero Bust, but definitely somebody I would personally see at Bisco. He is like a, a highlight out of this lineup for me, honestly. That's one of, like, the acts I'd be looking forward to seeing most on this lineup. Ill Gates, again, kind of experimental. Bass, Jack Harlow, not familiar. Jade Cicada, not familiar. Kayla, Skintilla, Eve, and Eve, Evolution, Evolution, no. Casbo, Cursa, no. Louis Fatan, no. LS Dream, so I believe LS Dream is Brills, Brills' second project or his new alias, I believe. I could be confusing that with somebody else, but uh, that should be, um, I guess, like melodic, experimental. Shouldn't be too, like, Brills bassy, like, no trap, really. Uh, that's to my knowledge. I can't, I don't think I've ever seen an LS dream set, but that's all I really know about it or him. Maniac focus. Nope. Minnesota. That is somebody I'd probably check out on this lineup because he's one of the acts I actually know and, uh, just bassy and, you know, kind of fits into my, um, you know, my liking Mr. Bill, uh, somebody that I haven't heard of until recently after seeing space Jesus, uh, he did a, Mr. Bill did a remix that Bree was actually like obsessing over. And so that's just why I've heard of him. Um, Mr. Bill Gates, okay, that sounds dope. Mr. Bill and Ill Gates, that is a cool collab, and I definitely want to check that out. Octave Cat, Penuma, Rusko, definitely want to check out Rusko. That is, you know, OG legend, and someone who has been recovering, for recovery, he beat cancer, I'm pretty sure. Just, you know, he's making a comeback, and, you know, I saw him at Lost Lands, had to represent, and it was a good set. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, personally, but I enjoyed it, and, you know, I look forward to seeing him again. Uh... The Soul Rebels featuring GZA, I do not know. Spafford, no. Sun Swabby, I do not know. Talk, I do not know. Twiddle, uh, I've heard of things, but don't know anything. Walker and Roy, same thing. I've heard the name, not really familiar with anything. Whipped Cream, I've spoken about her on the channel. Somebody I have yet to see, but somebody I would definitely want to check out. Repping for the females. Yeti. Yeti is somebody you're also going to want to see because last year, bro, after 12th Planet, everybody flooded the, the wave stage. We went from there to the office, like the side stage. We are flooding away from 12th Planet and going to Yeti. And, bro, that was just so many people for Yeti, bro. It was crazy. It was trippy. And it was just way overcrowded. Like, they should have put him on a different stage because they were that was crazy seeing him on that, that little stage. So it's going to be really dope to see him on a bigger stage this year, I hope. Following now we have Yoltron, which is very odd, honestly. I haven't seen Yoltron on, like, any major festival lineups, and, you know, I felt like that dude kind of, like, died out, honestly. I saw him play a show for Halloween with Borgor, Ganja, White Knight. 11.30, Yoltron! Yoltron! Uh, it's just very kind of, like trappy and like bouncy you know kind of like just rave music like big room not big room but like that like festival bounce you know like almost like a 4b maybe <laughs> I 
I honestly am not a huge fan, but he is someone that I know on the lineup. He's been around for a while, too. And then on the end of that middle lineup, we have Young Bay, who I don't really know. And then down here is going to be interesting to see who I actually know. Um, Biocratic, I don't know anything about. Dorafex Boss, I've uh, mentioned a few times on this channel, seeing on a few lineups here and there, but never seen live. Eminence Ensemble, Evan Off the Fritz, never heard of them. Um, Huxley Ann, I saw Huxley Ann last year at Camp Bisco. And uh, I saw her also. Well, I didn't see her, but she was on tour for the Temple of Noom Tour with Space Jesus. Last year, I remember her being very kind of like timid on the microphone. And it seemed like she hadn't performed a lot live. She was just very nervous. Um, and, you know, maybe she was like up and coming at the time. But, uh, you know, this year she was on tour with Space Jesus on the stage, rocking with all the guys. And uh, she seems like she was a little more comfortable. So uh, I mean, I'd, I'd, be, I'd be curious to see her growth coming from last year to this year and see how much she's progressed per on a personal note you know i don't really have anything to say about her music um i didn't love it not somebody i would go out of my way to see but no hit by any means following huxley and we have jenga he's a huge puzzle piece to the community and to camp bisco because he does this whole renegade stage his tour bus his bus it's a stage you know it's a literal school bus and inside the school bus is the cdjs and the djs are in there and then you know so that's like in the RV lots, and that provides like sound camps. It's like a sound camp kind of uh, environment, and it's late night hours. And you know, last year they had like Space Jesus in there. My girl Jeannie played in there last year. And a whole bunch of like locals playing in there, and uh, it's just a really cool concert. He's gonna bring that bus to Electric Forest, so make sure you guys check that out. And uh, yeah, I just think Jenga is doing super dope things with good looks, and just you know, as a whole, as a producer, just bringing more to the community. So shout out Jenga. And uh, I definitely look forward to the Renegade stage at Camp Bisco if I'm going and at the Forest for sure. Following now, we have Kayvon, who I think I've seen on a couple lineups before that I've reviewed, but again, never seen or heard anything good or bad. Then we have Litz, Mersive, Plantray, who I don't know anything about. And then we have Slugwife Takeover featuring Rezo, Sepra, and Broken Note. And uh, I don't really know anything about Slugwife, honestly, but I know they're playing an Avant Gardner soon, and uh, that's supposed to be one of the more bassy shows. And uh, speaking about Avant Gardner, we actually kind of fixed that problem, guys. So we're no longer yelling at fuck Avant Gardner. We're on good terms with them now, and me and Bree are going to be doing a separate vlog talking about that. So you guys will definitely be seeing us back at Avant Gardner with no issues going forward. So shouts out to that. And then uh, we have Sodown, Sticky Buds, Tweed, XIE, Zai, who was on the uh, hijinks lineup, Yak Attack. And a Good Looks Renegade stage, because that's, that's what I was talking about. So, Good Looks Renegade stage is going to have that, you know, it's going to be Jenga, and it's going to have a whole bunch of Good Looks homies on there playing, representing. And it looks like that is the total lineup. Oh my god, does that say 18 minutes? So that wraps up the Camp Besco 2019 lineup. As you guys can see, there is not too much, there's definitely like no rhythm. There is a little bit of dubstep and a lot more experimental bass. So if you guys like taking acid and sitting in the grass and getting lost in your thoughts... That's where you want to be, Camp Bisco 2019, August 18th, 19th, and 20th. I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing Bisco this year because I'm trying to do Big Dub, which also happens in July. It's a longer festival, which going to means I'm going to have to have more time requested off for work. And, you know, I just can't be taking so many days off of work consecutively to do all these festivals. At least right now I can't. That's the dream is to just go to festival, to festival, to festival. But with due time. Hopefully I'll do a review of the Big Dub lineup when it comes out and I will be making an announcement if I am going. I'm also going to be doing a video soon of festivals I will be attending in 2019. So be on the lookout for that because I know a bunch of you guys have been asking and rather than always answering, I think you guys should know and I think it would be cool for you guys to know in advance where I'm going to be so that you guys can kind of just know and kind of plan on meeting up. So that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for watching as always. Till the next one, I am the Festival Finesse. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys soon. Peace. Bisco, 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 Bisco. Bisco, Bisco.